Hey awesome people welcome back to Spitters. In this video tutorial we'll learn how to create this cool abstract loop animation. So without wasting any time let's get started. We just pause this animation and create new okay. First let's take one sphere and go to object and make it hemisphere okay. now duplicate this sphere go to gods and 180 Now simply put these spheres inside null like this. Okay. Now let's add one torus. Go to object ring radius 120 centimeter ring segment make it 50. Pipe radius is let's take around uh, 25. Pipe segment is okay and orientation is also fine. All right. Just reduce sphere size. Now it is 100. Make it 10 centimeter. Okay. Now. Select the cloner and put this null inside this cloner like this. Okay, now select the cloner, go to object, inside mode, select object. Okay, now just drag this torus inside this object box like this. okay now go to distribution instead of surface select vortex like this okay now let's add one formula deformer so select this and add this formula deformer now we need to put that formula deformer inside torus like this play the animation see you will get this kind of animation it's almost done okay just let's add some floor Just go to side view and let's align this floor here. Now let's quickly assign some material so we can see the animation properly. All right. Okay, now select this cloner and go to transform, go to very first frame, zero frame and you can see you can animate this also. So what I'll do is just hit the keyframe and add the frame 90, let's make it 720 degree. So now if you play, you will get this kind of animation. Just hide this torus, you don't need it, like this. 
Now quickly add some lights to it. And turn on this option. And also add one more area light. Let's add some fall off. Okay, now go to render settings. Intelligent, make it best. Go to effects, add ambient occlusion, and sail render. Turn on this color and on ties. Now if you hit play render button, see. Let's add on camera also. So go to camera view and inside the projection select this isometric. So hit render button. I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to SPTELS and don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you.